Hey guys, welcome to another Hostinger Academy tutorial. My name is Kastudis and today we'll go over the DNS Pro finished and X domain error. So let's get to it. While browsing the World Wide Web, there's a high chance you've ran into the DNS probe finished an X domain error. In short, it basically means that the domain name you've entered fails to lead you to the correct website. No worries though, there's quite a few steps you could try to solve this. Since the solutions differ depending on what operating system you're using, this video will be split into three main parts. One focusing on the general steps you would need to take regardless of your operating system, and the next two focusing on Windows and Mac OS respectively. To save you some time, you'll be able to find timestamps in the description below for each respective part. So without any further ado, let's dive in. There are cases where the most simple solution is usually the one that works. So let's try restarting our router and modem. First unplug your modem and router and wait about 30 seconds. Then plug your modem in, wait about 2 minutes, then plug your router back in and wait 2 minutes more. Check if that fixes the issue. If not, let's continue to the other steps. Chrome flags are the experimental features of the Chrome browser. Sometimes having these misconfigured can lead you to some errors. No worries though, we can simply solve them by resetting the default configuration. To do this, type the following in your address bar. Chrome column forward slash forward slash flags. Here you will get access to all experimental features. Simply click on reset all to return everything to default settings. And that's all there is to it. While using VPS or antivirus service is definitely a great option for staying secure online, it can sometimes prevent you from accessing certain websites. So in that case, I'd recommend temporarily disabling your antivirus and VPS services to check if that solves the issue. If that doesn't, let's move on to the operating system specific steps, kicking things off with the first step in getting this error sorted out is flushing your DNS cache. This ensures that your browser uses the most up-to-date information. To flush the DNS cache on Windows, you'll need to do the following. Press your Windows key down together with R and type CMD. Once the terminal window opens, type in ipconfig forward slash flush DNS. When done, click enter. The second step is to release and renew your IP address. It's quite similar to the first step as it also clears your DNS cache. So here's how you do it. In the command prompt window we have opened in the previous step, type out these commands. ipconfig forward slash release to release your current IP address. ipconfig forward slash renew to renew your DNS configuration for your network devices. And netshash winsock reset. These commands restore your initial IP configuration and reset the service that is responsible for controlling internet applications. That's all there is for step 2. Make sure to restart your PC for these changes to take effect. If the first couple of steps did not help you solve the issue, let's move on to switching our DNS servers. By default, this is usually configured to work with a service provided by your ISP, as in an internet service provider. No worries though, there are free alternatives we can try out provided by Google and OpenDNS. So let's do exactly that. Open the control panel menu and search for a network and sharing center. On the left side of the window, click the Change Adapter Settings option, right-clicking the connection that you currently use and choosing Properties. Find the Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 option in the list and click the Properties button again. Under the General tab, you'll see two spaces at the bottom of the window, preferred and alternate DNS server. Select the Use the following DNS server addresses option and type in your preferred DNS server. I'll be using Google Public DNS and this is the IP address I need to type in. Once you're done, simply click OK to save your changes. There are a few ways you can restart your DNS client on Windows. Depending on your Windows version, some might not be available. No worries though, try all of these methods and I'm positive you'll find success. So let's dig in. First is by using command prompt. Simply enter the following command, net stop DNS cache. As you can see, the command is unable to run successfully on my end. No worries though, if it did run successfully on your end, simply enter the other command, which is net start DNS cache. And if you saw something similar to what I can see on my end, let's move on to the other steps. Here's how you can restart the DNS client using Windows services. First, access the services by typing it into the search bar. Scroll down and find the DNS client option. Click on the Restart Service button. It is also unavailable on my end, so let's continue to the other step. 
You can also restart your DNS client using the Windows System Configuration Manager. Simply press Windows key plus R on your keyboard and enter msconfig in the search bar. Select the Services tab and scroll down to the DNS Client option. Uncheck the box to disable it. Click OK and then restart your computer. Now simply redo the process, although this time checking the box to enable the DNS client and restart your computer again. The host file is the file your computer checks first when resolving the domain name to your website. As such, it is worthwhile to check if perhaps the file does have your domain in it with an incorrect IP address, as that could lead to the error you are seeing. To check the host file on Windows, we start by typing notepad in the search bar and selecting run as administrator. Next, simply navigate to file and open. Make sure you are in the correct location, which is system root, windows, system32, drivers, etc. And also change your file filter from text documents to all files. Double click on the host file to access it. If the domain name and IP address of the problematic website are recorded, make sure to remove them and then save your changes. While flushing the DNS cache on macOS is as simple as running a command via the terminal, what command you should run depends on what version of macOS you are running. Since I'm using Big Sur, here's how everything will look like for me. First, I'll open the terminal and then I'll enter the following command sudo dscacheutil slash flush cache semicolon sudo kilal slash hup mdns responder to find the right command for your macOS version, I recommend checking the article in the description below. Releasing and renewing the IP address on macOS is really easy. First, go to System Preferences and click on Network. Then, select your internet connection and click Advanced. Afterwards, navigate to TCP's forward slash IP tab and click Renew DHCP lease. And finally, press OK and then restart your computer. If the last few steps do not help you resolve the issue, let's move on to switching your DNS servers. By default, this is usually configured to use the DNS servers provided by your internet service provider. Lucky for us, there are free alternatives we can use provided by Google DNS as well as OpenDNS. So let's try them out. Changing your DNS servers is also done from your system preferences window. Once you have that open, select network and pick the internet connection that you're using. Then click on advanced. Afterwards, open the DNS tab and add either Google Public DNS or Open DNS server's IP addresses. I will be using Google DNS. Once that's done, simply click OK to save the new configuration. The local host file is the first file your system checks when resolving the domain name to the IP address. As such, it is worthwhile to check if perhaps it is misconfigured. Here's how can you do exactly that. To check the host file on macOS, we start by opening the terminal. Once you have the terminal open, enter the following command. sudo nano forward slash private forward slash etc forward slash hosts. Here you will be prompted to enter your password, so make sure you do so. If you find the website which is giving you the DNS probe error in the list, make sure to remove it and save the file by pressing Ctrl plus O. If after all these steps you are still facing some issues, it might be worthwhile contacting your internet service provider, as further investigation might need to be done from their end. Let me know if this tutorial helped you in the comments down below, and of course, stay subscribed for more amazing tutorials like this one in the future.